object-oriented is a programming paradigm based around the ideas of classes and objects. Now, many languages support the ideas of classes and objects, languages such as Python, Ruby, C++, and many others. But only very few are considered primarily object-oriented. This means that they enforce the use of object-oriented programming in the whole language. The most notable primarily object-oriented languages are Java and C Sharp. Java and C Sharp are incredibly dominant in the tech industry and having a good understanding of object-oriented programming will aid you greatly in your software engineering or game development career. This is a follow-on from my Intro to Programming uh, tutorial series, which was based in Python. Um, watching that previous series isn't a requirement of uh, this, this series, but you should have a good understanding of the following concepts. So first of all, you should know variables, what they are and how to use them. Uh, data types, so integers, uh, booleans, characters, floating point numbers and strings, although they're slightly different. They're not what we call primitive data types. But you should know all of those. Um, you should know about arrays or lists. If you know the difference between a static array, a dynamic array and a linked list, that would be brilliant. If you want to know more about that, I have a video going over the three and comparing them. Um, you should know about conditions and if statements. You should know the two main types of loop, so uh, while loops and for loops. And finally, you should know about functions. If you don't already have Java set up, I have linked a video down below that will uh, walk you through how to set up Java in Visual Studio Code, which is what I'm going to be using. You don't have to use Visual Studio Code, you can follow along in Eclipse, in IntelliJ, or any other IDE uh, that you want, as long as you have Java up and running, and you can run the following like test program. You see here we get Hello World, um, that should be fine. Just one thing that I will mention is if your file name has a different name to your class, and we'll go over what that means when we get into the tutorial. But if these two names don't match up in Java, that will be an issue and that will stop your programming uh, program from running. So here I've got test.java with a capital T. And actually I will just enlarge this a bit so you can see. I've got the file uh, test.java and in here I've got class test, both with a capital T at the start. I should also mention that my cursor and line numbers look a bit strange. I've got uh, relative uh, line numbers and um, that's because I'm using a tool called Vim. Uh, you don't need to use Vim for this tutorial, but that's uh, one reason why uh, my screen might look slightly different from yours. Uh, in the next video, we will be talking about the basics of programming in Java in particular. So we will be speeding through all of the basics with the Java syntax.